Hey there, it's Todd. Uh, some of you know me as TTRM from the SMA forum. I have a nice little review today for you. Um, I picked up a kit from Hobby Link Japan, and it's uh, Tamiya's 1 350th scale Japanese Navy destroyer Yukikaze. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a ship, so it'll be fun for the build, but uh, we're going to do a review first, so let's open the box and find out what's inside. Okay then, here we go, digging into the box, what we have right on top here, um, all these actually came with plastic bags originally, but I couldn't wait uh, once I got the kit, so I opened it up and I of course peeled off all the plastic bags, so I, I brought them here so that you, know, you guys can enjoy the plastic bag part, um, here we go. This is the upper hull sections, detailed pretty decently. And we have some uh, portholes, anchor well. There is no vertical lines in the steel plating coming across this section. There would be on the ship. Um, so the, I would suggest that if you wanted to detail a little bit more you may want to just scribe in some lines um, stagger them along there make it look more like steel plating in the center here we have the um, weather deck sections it has some diamond plating we have some hose reels attached already uh, these hatchways here they're pretty well detailed nicely all in all it's not too too bad these are uh, bulkhead pieces they actually fasten in between these two pieces and the lower hull on section. The next one. We have hull pieces. Okay. This kit can be made into two different styles. Um, we have a waterline um, series that we could be making the model in, where we'd be taking those two upper sections of the hull attach them to this and then put it into a diorama situation where we could have water effects around it make it look like it's at sea pretty neat effect and then we have the full lower hull so we mount this on a base so it's more of this traditional static model next up out of the box we have looks like more superstructure parts uh, this would be just directly above the water um, the weather deck excuse me we have the side pieces, some tor torpedo storage units, uh, ship's boats, rudder, some propellers, We've got the funnels, have a couple of nice funnel caps here. And you can see that they didn't mold them all in one giant chunky solid piece, they actually, you can see through them, that adds some nice depth um, to the funnels themselves, that's a nice little job. Good job with that piece. Next, next up would be these two in the or in the same package. This would be the armament for the ship. Um, we have the 127 millimeter cannon. We have the turrets, which are nicely detailed. Some rivets in there. You can see that rivet detail. We have torpedo launchers, and we have the triple mount double A's and the single mount double A's for the deck. Those are nicely detailed too. I can see the ribbing in the barrels. Um, can't quite make it out on the video, I don't think, but it is there. It's very nice. Next up would be some more superstructure. We have side pieces. These are detailed nicely. They even have the caps on the um, uh, portholes. And you got hinges on the watertight doors. So the molding on that is really, really nice. And the underside of the gun mounts. And that would be the top side. Pretty decent, I must say. It's a st the stern piece of the weather deck.
Okay, next out of the box. We have a sprue here with the radar antenna. And they're pretty decent. A little bit of cleanup here. Um, and it's tiny cleanup, but all in all, they look pretty decent. They're thin, they're not really chunky and ugly looking, so I think I will like those. Not too bad right there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Next up is the base section. Simple base. We have some finials. These attach to the base. And then you would take this whole piece and attach that to the finials. And then inside here we have these we have these long screws that would be for mounting to the base. Um, inside the bag as well I see we have a couple of chains for the anchors and we have these little poly caps that's for mounting the turrets and the torpedo launchers and being able to swivel them after you're done if you want to position them and make them uh, look different make it look more realistic what else we got in here we have decal sheet right here that's to show the draft draft lines if you want to call them that those go on the side show how how low in the water she's running or how high in the water I should say either way pretty nice nice little detail and they're in decent shape so that's a bonus right there next we have a flag sheet which is pretty nice Thin, not just thick paper. These act. This is actually pretty good because you can you can bend it. A little white glue and a, and a pencil. You can wrap it around. Actually, is really really nice. Once it dries, it has that nice wave to it, like the wind's going through it. So these are pretty slick. I like that. Good job there. Next we have nameplates. Nameplates go right on the side of that black base that we saw. two different versions we have the Japanese version we have the English version and right off the bat I'm seeing myself put one on one side one on the other that's a nice little uh, nice little touch to that photo etch we got some photo etch with the kit we can see that okay we have a couple of ladders we have some radar to enhance those the radar that we have so I may be cutting off some because a couple of these pieces look like they they go right on there and then we have these look like gun shields so for the double uh, A guns we have some nice gun shields for them little little tiny PE work little photo etching under the directions The history of the Yukikaze. I'm going to read about that. Let's see. Pretty decent. You can see I broke into the kit and I started highlighting things. <laughs> um, I like I like the I like the directions. Not bad at all. Um, a lot of the pieces aren't just numbered and you slap them together and whatnot. I actually tell you what they are. Pretty detailed, decent, easy to read. No complaints on the directions yet at all. Pretty nice. And last out of the box, we have this sheet. This is the fold out color sheet, shows the painting guide and the decals. And you can see the, you know, the placement of the decals and different coloring of different sections of the ship. It's actually nice. It's a lot larger than the 
directions, single piece you can just put there for your painting guide. That's pretty slick. I like that. So, thank you for stopping by, checking out my review of Tamiya's 1 350th scale Yukikaze from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, please stop by SMA and uh, check out my blog. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to start digging into that kit and gluing things together, and uh, I plan on taking a lot of pictures. So right up through the painting and weathering, uh, right till I mount her. I'm going to take tons and tons of pictures. So I hope you stop by, and uh, thanks again.